Hey guys, welcome to your uh, general love reading uh, for the month of May 2021 for the zodiac sign of Cancer. We're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love uh, and the person that you're connecting with. Then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current over energies are towards you, their true feelings and intentions. And then we'll finish off the read with what the possible outcome and advice are. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys could get up-to-date content that's being uploaded on my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this message. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated with you. And if you guys are interested in uh, booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's get started here. What are energies for cancer regarding love and the person that they're connecting with for May 2021? What is surrounding cancer? What can cancer expect? What does cancer need to know regarding love and the person that they're connecting with for May 2021? All right, Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Five of Pentacles, and the Empress. I mean, it seems like you guys are maybe in a higher level of commitment, but for some reason, I'm feeling like there's a bit of an imbalance here. I feel like there's a difference in, huge difference in personalities. Um, I feel like one person might be giving to the connection more than someone else. Um, I feel like maybe someone here I mean, someone here could be dipping out on someone too because you have the five of pentacles here but let's get some more messages just to see what's going on all right tell me about this king of swords Three of Cups. You know, I'm feeling like someone here might be leaving or has left someone else for an Empress. But let's get some more messages to see what's going on. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. You know, the King of Swords over the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. You have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Page of Pentacles here two times. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. You have the Fool, Aries, Aquarius energy. What's going on with this Five of Pentacles? Five of Pentacles over the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Empress. And the Six of Pentacles here. You know what? I'm feeling like someone has been very, very generous here. And I feel like someone took advantage of that. So I'm feeling like maybe this like Empress and this Queen of Pentacles is the same person. You have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. So I'm feeling like someone's seeing this clearly now. So I feel like this, this feminine energy might be with someone 
that feels like they're sort of taking care of someone because they can't do it themselves because they're coming up as a page, coming up as a knight. Uh, yeah, I feel like this empress might have given and given and given and given and given so much that this empress is not getting anything back in return. And maybe this f feminine energy has given so much now someone here might not have anything else to give because they've been they've been sort of like sucked dry um let's see we have the king of swords being clarified by the three of cups the um queen of pentacles being clarified by the king of swords you have the knight of cups being clarified by the page of pentacles the page of pentacles being clarified by the fool so someone's dealing with someone here that's very childlike and then you have this mature energy this empress seems to be taking care of almost everything uh the uh five of pentacles here two times the uh empress and then the six of pentacles i mean this person could be dealing with third parties uh if this person's acting so childlike here Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Cancer? What are their overall energies for uh, towards Cancer for the uh, month of May 2021? All right, two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Seven of cups. Knight of cups again. Um, someone lives in La La Land. Someone doesn't live in reality here. Feels like it's this king. Five of wands. You have judgment, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. You have justice, Libra energy, and the two of cups. So someone could be facing their karma here for being uh, for being grabby here. Yeah, I just feel like I just feel like this is over for someone. Someone's no longer no no longer has assets to or assets no. Just someone is no longer available in giving to someone anymore. Yeah, whatever is going on here with this king, so the, it's just this person is a bit... So this person uh, feels that they could make this up with like giving this person a lot of love but actually that's creating a lot of conflict here because i feel like this empress 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 slash queen is expecting a lot more in return because this person is giving so much to this king here um i feel like someone's coming it's coming to the realization that you know that this charade, this game that they're playing is over. Tell me about this uh, Seven of Cups. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles again. All right, tell me about this uh, Knight of Cups. So we, we're dealing with someone who is, who's a bit of an opportunist, I feel. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Pisces Energy, Tell me about this Five of Wands. You have the Ace of Cups. I mean, I do feel like this uh, King is really in love with this Queen of Pentacles slash Empress, but at the same time, this might turn into some sort of toxic love. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of fighting here about, you know,
Yeah, just about, you know, someone giving a lot and then someone not getting something back in return. Someone feels like if they just could, you know, give that love or just be lovey-dovey, that could make up for that. No, because, you know, over time, especially when someone gives a lot of energy to a connection to someone and someone doesn't reciprocate that, um, there's going to be resentment. Tell me about this uh, judgment. You have the hangman, Pisces energy. What's going on with this uh, justice card? You have the eight of pentacles. Tell me about the two of cups. And the king of wands again. Oh no, we only have the king of wands here once. Okay. We have the three of wands on the bottom of the deck. We have the world card. Um, I'm feeling like this might be coming to an end. So whatever plans for the future here, this is not happening anymore. Uh, because someone here is just really not putting in the equal effort. Someone's behaving like a little child. I feel like someone is going to sue someone to get their money back. I don't think that's, I don't think that could work. I mean, this person didn't really steal from you. I mean, someone was willing to give. I mean, you have justice here. I also feel like someone could be facing some sort of karma for taking a like just being an opportunist here. Um, we have the Seven of Cups being clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups being clarified by the world, not the wheel. I do feel like someone's facing their karma here for taking, for being an opportunist, for, you know, being super grabby here. Grabby, being greedy. I'm surprised the Four of Cups is not out. It seems like someone was in it for something. Um, Five of Wands, Ace of Cups, Judgment, being clarified by the Hangman. And then we have Justice being clarified by the Eight of Cups, no Eight of Pentacles, and then the Two of Cups being clarified by the King of Wands. All right, what is the possible outcome and advice here for Cancer regarding love and the person that they're connecting with for May 2021? What does Cancer need to know? What can Cancer expect here? Oh, something flipped out. We have the Seven of Cups again. Get one more shuffle here. Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You have the Six of Swords. Someone's moving away from the confusion and illusion. Someone's moving on from this. We have the Wheel of Fortune again. We have the Page of Swords, Gemini, um, uh, Libra, Aquarius Energy, Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Someone's definitely moving away from this. Yeah, I feel like someone here... Yeah, I just feel like someone has too much on their plate to deal with this, to deal with a child. It seems like it's one of those energies where someone here is, instead of being someone's partner here, like someone here is sort of like being someone's parent instead. It's like, I feel like someone is like taking, like literally taking care of someone like a child. Um... What's going on with the Seven of Cups? Three of Wands. Yeah, it just, um, whatever promises this king has made, it's not coming. It's not coming. Uh, th this king is, their head's a bit in the clouds, you know. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Two of Swords. Yeah, someone's getting away from the confusion. Someone's getting away, um, moving away f uh, in, of the situation of, like, really not knowing here. 
not knowing if someone's going to change. Tell me about the wheel. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Cups here. So someone here does have a lot of love for someone. Uh, tell me about the Page of Swords. You have the Queen of Swords. So we do have a pair here, Kings and Queen of Swords. Tell me about this um, Seven of Wands. We have the Hermit. Yeah, someone definitely has their defenses up. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So it seems like someone here is walking away from a marriage. Yeah, and like I said, it's I'm feeling like this energy of someone here is, you know, in a partnership with someone, but someone doesn't feel like a partner, feel like it's a partnership because someone feels like they're actually taking care of a child instead of taking, you know, instead of being someone's partner. I feel like someone's parenting someone. I'm feeling like this person doesn't even have a job. So... All right, we have, yeah, someone's bit, someone lives in La La Land here. Yeah, wh whatever promises that this king made, it's just never, it's not coming. Um, yeah, because this, I feel like this king has made so many promises of maybe changing or doing better. It's not happening. Someone is just moving away from, really just moving away from the confusion here. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace. Ace of Cups. I feel like someone here's uh, feelings here is maybe changing, but I feel like someone here still has love for someone. Um, I just feel like someone here really has their boundaries up now. I feel like someone here is retreating from this. I feel like someone here has their defenses up, and I feel like someone here is walking away from an um, unbalanced marriage. Yeah. Um, there's a lack of balance here because I feel like one person is giving because one person might have more money than someone else. Maybe someone here works um, and the other person doesn't. Maybe the other person's out of a job. So, um, Cancer, this was your general love reading for the month of May 2021. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.